I use the word sales, and I know that a lot of teachers, for some reason, dislike the, the idea that they're selling anything. However, if you stop and reflect on it, as Madeline Hunter said, you cannot force teaching. What you're doing is, if you realize it or not, you are marketing your information. We don't like to use the term selling, but the fact is you are always marketing. Not only the information that you're teaching, but yourself. You cannot help but have an effect on other people by the way you talk, the way you smile or don't smile. It's amazing. Just a simple smile will have a tremendous effect on other people. Just a simple smile. At any rate, we are marketing information. And if we do not realize that people buy from people that they feel good about, we're making a mistake. You may have had the example that, I, that I've had. As a matter of fact, just very recently, my, my, my wife said we were going to buy a new mattress. And I said, I don't want to go back to the place that we bought it last time because I had not good rapport with the salesperson. I've had the experience, and you may have had it also, where you were in a, in a, a, a market or a, a place where you were going to buy something, and you were going to buy it. But the salesperson turned you off so much that you walked away. You wanted the product, but it was the feeling you had with the salesperson that literally turned you off. Let's put ourselves in the position of young people. When young people look at us and react with us, do we want to turn them off or do we want them to buy what we are marketing to them? It's our hope that this module has changed your perception as an educator. Please take a few minutes to reflect on how you will elevate your enthusiasm for teaching and market your information.